Okay everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today we're going to be looking at Skyblock. We're going to be looking at how we can get it working on our version of the game. We're going to look at downloading it, how we can get it onto our system, and what we should do in the first few days uh, of our time playing Skyblock. So, without any further ado, let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so here we are in our little sky block world and uh, we need to take a look around our little island. There's not much to it, uh, but you'll see here at one end of our island we've got a chest with some lava, ice, pumpkin, bits and bobs, some mushrooms and things in there that we will need at some point. I'm sure that's why they're there. And if we turn around and take a look at the other end of our island, we have a tree. Um, so there's not much here. It's three blocks deep and um, not particularly big. Um, all round, but we need to make the most of our space and we're going to start off by building a cobblestone generator We need more blocks. We need to, a way of getting blocks, don't we? So cobblestone generators are super useful um, Four blocks along and then one of the middle two blocks you need to dig two blocks down And then in our chest we need to use the lava and the ice. That's why they're there You're supposed to do this. So we are going to um, put down at one end of this uh, the ice and if we, if we break the ice, it becomes a water source and flows down into that extra block that we dug down there. Uh, it, needs, it needs to be flowing, it needs to be moving. And uh, at the other end, we're going to pop down our lava bucket like that. Um, now, this world file for this one is in the description. If you want to download it, uh, just go to the description of the video and you download it. It's a pocket edition map, um, but it works. It'll work in Bedrock and most importantly for us, it'll work in Minecraft. Education Edition 2. So let's mine the bottom of this tree. Oh dear. And as you can see, uh, if you're not careful, you can lose resources over the edge in the void, and that's not good. So we need to build a little bit out away from our uh, platform. We need to already start extending our platform. Um, and we need a pickaxe before we can mine our cobblestone from our cobblestone generator. So we need to collect the wood from this tree to make it into a wooden pickaxe. Uh, so if we shift click and uh, go near the edge, we can click over the edge and start adding some of those dirt blocks that we got hold of around the edge. And that way, when we mine our oak logs, they're not gonna go over the edge. So we'll just um, collect all of these. We need as much as we can, especially as being as I wasted one. Uh, not really using my brain at the start here. Now, I am no Skyblock expert, let it be said. Um, but uh, this video is really just about getting started and how to get this working and to see how it works in Minecraft Education because there are a few differences. Now, first things first, we need a crafting table to get our uh, wooden pickaxe and start breaking that cobblestone. So we need some oak logs. We need to create some oak wood planks. So let's pop those oak wood planks in there. Uh, next off, we of course uh, will need some sticks as well. So we need to turn those oak wood plants into sticks once we're in our crafting table. And uh, once we've got that together, we should be able to get our wooden pickaxe and start mining that cobblestone. Okay, so we've got our sticks and um, we've got a few uh, wooden planks as well. Let's move those over there. And uh, putting those together into our crafting table, we now are able to create a wooden pickaxe. So we've got everything we need now to start harvesting cobblestone. Um, so if I head down here, let's move things back into our chest because if we fall off, we don't want to lose all of our items that are in our inventory. So here's our cobblestone. We'll just keep um, breaking this and collecting the cobblestone. Sometimes it goes into the lava. There's not much you can do about that. Uh, but we're just going to keep breaking it and collecting that cobblestone until we've got enough to widen this platform a little bit. What we are aiming to do in the long term is to collect the rest of those leaves uh, that we haven't collected yet without them falling down because from the leaves we can collect something very important which is oak um, saplings. All right, so we want the saplings so that we can plant more trees and then as those trees grow we can collect more um, oak logs uh, so we're not going to uh, run out of wood to make pickaxes and things like that. We will, now we've got cobblestone, we can uh, make stone pickaxes, but we still need a bit of wood for the hand. Oh no! I've fallen off the edge. I haven't um, 
told people this before, but actually there's a really annoying glitch on the Mac, on anyone that uses Mac for Minecraft education, where sometimes if you're holding a direction or even you're mining, it just glitches and kind of keeps it held down. And on a map like this, it's really annoying. You have to press escape and go to the settings and go back out to, to override it. On a map like this, it's a nightmare because you quite often end up falling over the edge, but I'll do my best today to not let it get in the way. I'll keep keeping my items in the chest over there. Uh, however, um, I do need to mine some more cobblestone now. I've lost that cobblestone because I fell off the edge. Um, you will fall off the edge anyway, even without that annoying glitch every now and again. Uh, so you will need to make sure um, that you are storing things in that chest and not losing them. But I'm gonna expand now the edge of my island a little bit more, my sky block, so I can collect the rest of those uh, leaves up there. You can't see them so well from the other view, but they are up there. Um, I haven't mined them yet. And I hopefully will get at least one sapling out of this. If I don't get one sapling, um, then it's kind of game over really, because then there's no way for me to grow more trees and uh, it's impossible for me to continue with the game, but I've got three saplings, which is great. So I'm going to take those three saplings and get a little bit of a tree farm going on. I'll need some dirt and a bit more space, a bit more cobblestone to spread those uh, trees out. I don't want the trees really close to each other. I want them to have as much foliage on them as possible. Uh, so if they're bumping into each other, that makes it difficult. So let's grab some more cobblestone and um, expand my little island slightly. Now, once I've got my tree farm, I, in theory, have, as long as I'm patient, a good supply of um, more saplings, more wood, um, things like sticks, even apples, things like that will fall from my tree. Uh, so as long as I've got maybe three or four trees on the go, uh, they will grow during the daylight hours. And then during the nighttime hours, I can um, just keep grinding that cobblestone. It's been a lot of time just mining cobblestone, but that's okay. And we'll keep topping up our chest uh, as we go. So I've got three trees now. That's my little tree farm. That's not too bad. I mean, I'll try and get more if I can, just keep grinding that cobblestone. But eventually you can see in the distance there is a little island and um, there are other islands dotted around. And uh, in, obviously in time, I want to make my way out to that island. There it is. So I may as well, while I'm waiting for my trees to grow, I may as well just keep grinding and collecting this cobblestone and start bridging my way out very slowly and very carefully. Um, some people are really quick at this kind of bridge building. I am because I'm going to speed it up. There we go. Um, and I'm going to get, hopefully get over to the island uh, if I'm careful. No, it's stuck again. Ah! Well, I got a good chunk of that done. Um, but I did lose 16 cobblestone, so back to the grind, get, getting that cobblestone. Let's get a load more. Now, before I finish that bridge, um, maybe I will um, just stock up my cobblestone some more and expand my island slightly. I want to move my crafting table and my chest. I want to move those over near my tree. Oh, I've got a tree. My tree's grown, that's brilliant. Um, so I can start taking that down shortly. I'll finish moving my crafting table and chest over here because actually my water source over there eventually will be a good place to put some seeds. So I should get some seeds um, now and again and uh, be able to put them in there. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep keep my chest full up over there for now. That's probably for another video if I continue with this. I don't know if I continue. This is just really about the map and getting started. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get this tree farm bit all sorted out. My, let's mine our new tree and hopefully, yes, I get a couple of saplings. Oh, I've got an apple and some sticks. So that's good for my first tree. And I'll keep this rolling, plant one of the saplings down there and put the rest in my chest. Obviously keep grinding the cobblestone. And here we go, I've got now on my cobblestone bridge, I've got a skeleton archer type thing. So I need to go and get a sword sorted out, get over here, bash this guy off the edge. Um, ideally, Maybe I could have kind of lured him over and collected anything that he dropped. I don't know what, what they drop, if it's anything useful. Um, so over at the other end is just a chest. Um, so I need to find a way to um, open that chest. Now, this is an idea I had for watching another video, uh, which is to kind of ride this waterfall down and place blocks underneath. It's pretty sketchy and I'm running out. Oh, get back in. Okay. <laughs> really hard, uh, but I'm going to keep going, persevering, and I've 
put a block underneath that chest now, so we'll open it up and see what's inside. And it is some obsidian, uh, which I imagine is quite hard to get hold of, which is why it's in that chest over there. So I don't know what I can use the obsidian for. I can look that up. I'm not the, I'm not an expert at survival mode even. Um, but this map's been really fun. It's been kind of tactical. There was a lot of editing in this one. I cut a lot of the time out. I spent grinding cobblestone and just making mistakes and placing cobblestone and falling off the edge. Um, so, um, as we proceed with this, I can use the obsidian to hopefully get some more interesting stuff. And um, I can plant some seeds and get a bit of a farm going and stuff like that. Um, however, that is the end of today's video. The in the description of this video, you will find the link to this world, and this world is tested. It works in Minecraft Education Edition. So download it, have a play around with it. It's a lot of fun. But we are going to finish up there. If you like today's video, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. I'll be back later on in the week with some more videos, and I'll see you all then.